Hello! In this video, I will show you three ways on how to disable Windows Defender in Windows 11. The first method is disabling Windows Defender via the system settings. The second method, we will make some changes to the registry. And the third method, we will disable Defender via group policy. That being said, let's jump in for the first method. Click on the Windows icon at the bottom of your screen. Type in Virus and Threat Protection and click on it. Click on Manage Settings under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. And lastly, turn off the real-time protection and click on Yes if a confirmation pop-up appears. And there you have it. You have successfully disabled Windows Defender via system settings. Let's jump into the second method disabling Defender via registry, which is a bit more technical. Before making any changes to the registry, please make sure that you have a system restore point and a backup of your registry, because changing registry sometimes comes with a risk of breaking something in Windows. Let's dive into it. Scroll down under Virus and Threat Protection Settings until you see Tamper Protection and turn it off. Afterwards, click on the Windows icon at the bottom of your screen and type Registry Editor and click on it. Click on Yes if a pop-up appears. On the Registry screen, navigate your way to HKey Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft, Windows Defender, in the folder, Windows Defender, we will need to create a couple DWORD 32-bit keys. You can do so by right-clicking inside the Windows Defender folder, hovering over New, and selecting DWORD. The first key that needs to be created is Disable Anti-Spyware, double-click on it, and set value data to 1. Second key is Disable Real-Time Monitoring, and set value data to 1. Third key is disable antivirus and set value data to one. Fourth key is disable special running modes and set value data to one. Fifth key is disable routinely taking action and set value data to one. And for service keep alive, set value data to zero. The next step that we need to do is to create a new folder under Windows Defender named Real-Time Protection. You can do so by right-clicking on Windows Defender folder, hovering over New, and selecting Key. Inside Real-Time Protection, we need to create the following DWORD keys. Disable Behavior Monitoring, Disable On Access Protection, Disable Scan On Real-Time Enable, Disable Real-Time Monitoring, and set the value data for all those keys to 1. Under Windows Defender, we have to create a third folder called Signature Updates. In it, we have to create the DWORD Force Update from MU and set the value to zero. And finally, we have to create the last folder under Windows Defender named Spynet. Inside Spynet, create the DWORD Disable Block at first scene and set the value to one. Now we will explore the last method by disabling Windows Defender via Group Policy. Click on the on the Windows icon on the bottom of your screen and type Group Policy and click on Edit Group Policy. Under Computer Configuration, open Administrative Templates. Open Windows Components and click on Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Search for Turn Off Microsoft Defender Antivirus Policy and double-click on it. Enable the policy, click on Apply, press OK, and reboot your PC. And there you have it. I have presented you with three methods on disabling Windows Defender. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.